started with today's vlog, I just want to take a quick moment to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Dossier. You guys might know Dossier, I've worked with them in the past, and I love their products so much, so I'm really excited to be sharing some information about them with you today. Dossier is a company that reproduces classic, high-end scents at a fraction of the price, keeping the exact same high quality by cutting all the extra expenses and the infamous brand tax. They have a risk-free system, which allows customers to try the perfumes before even committing to them, which I love and every bottle comes with a small sample that you guys can try and wear before unsealing the 50 milliliter bottle. The first thing I love about Dossier is the affordability of their perfume. Any scent is $29, while designer scents can range from $50 to up to even $280 in retail. No thank you. Dossier is cruelty-free and vegan. Lastly, Dossier is always adding new scents to their collections, and they're always thrilled to take suggestions from customers like you for any future releases. Today with me, I have three scents to share with y'all. The first scent I have here is the Woody Sandalwood, which is inspired by Le Labo's Santal 33 Eau de Parfum. Let's see how she smells. Oh, that is so fresh. This smells like a mix of really fragrant like saffron and just money. It just smells <laughs> like wealth. <laughs> the second scent I have here is Woody Hyacinth. This one is inspired by Chanel's Chance Eau de Parfum. I don't know why, but I've always enjoyed a more masculine scent, and this one is definitely based off a cologne type scent, I think. I love this one! Last but not least, we've got the Gourmand White Flowers. This one is inspired by Victor and Rolf's Flower Balm Eau de Parfum. Ooh, this one's sweet! Oh my goodness. That reminds me of a cake, like a rose petal cake. I don't know why, that's so nice. So if you guys are interested in trying any of Dossier's luxury type scents, you can go to their website, which I will link below, and use the code Cheyenne10 for a 10% off your order. Thank you again to Dossier for sponsoring this video. Now let's get into the vlog. Hello everyone and welcome to the vlog. Today's vlog start, whatever you want to call it, is a little bit chaotic because I need to rush down to meet my friends who are picking me up so we can go get bubble tea. First, I must contextualize what is going on. Today was our last day of classes, which means I only have one semester left of college. Isn't that crazy? For me, that's just like a little bit crazy. I still feel 16 sometimes. I think this vlog is just gonna be a fun little compilation of me doing random, fun, distracting things during reading week that will make me forget just for a moment that I have finals to complete. <laughs> so if you enjoy watching vlogs on my channel, definitely give this video a big thumbs up. Also subscribe if you're not yet. I hope that if you are going through a stressful time as well right now, maybe you can escape a little with me. Also make sure to follow me on Instagram to keep up with my shenanigans on a more day-to-day -day basis. I think they're here. Let's go downstairs. I think this is the right car. Hello. Hi. Oh, cute top. Say hi to the vlog. Lychee black tea with little sugar, less ice, and boba. Highly recommend this order. What did you get? I got a regular kung fu tea. Perfect. Would we, recommend. We love simplicity. What did you get? You got something fun. I got a passion fruit slush with mango popping bobas. Popping Very bags. nice. Oh, so we're living the life. Loving the life. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I'm back in my apartment and I wanted to quickly show you something else that I got at Kung Fu Tea, which are these little red bean mochi balls. I've never gotten this flavor before. I know the one that I usually get is just red bean. I don't know what the white on the outside is for this one, or maybe it's just white bean, but I'm interested to try it out. So let's do a little taste test on camera. This is what they look like. They come in little packages like this. Yee! 
It's like a pillow almost. Hmm. That is not what I expected. Why is it salty? It's definitely got the red bean paste on the inside, but oh, there's soy sauce in it. Oh, that is so weird. If you know anything about Japanese snacks, comment down below. What have I just eaten? <laughs> I also thought I would unbox for y'all some new shoes that came in the mail. Let me get some scissors. Lately, I realized I only have about one pair of sandals that isn't broken or falling apart. And they do go with everything, but I don't know, man. I'm just the kind of girl that needs more than one pair of sandals. So here we are. No plastic in the packaging so far. Very nice, very nice. Here are the pair. I think they're very cute. I think they're also like probably the most common shoe of theirs on the website because it was at the top of like every list that I saw. I'm hesitant to like pull out and try them on for you guys because I don't want to end up on wiki feet, but <laughs> this is what they look like and I feel like they'll go with everything and will be very comfortable, so I'm very excited. <laughs> begun and i've been in the throes of it you know staying up late waking up late tippy tapping on my keyboard all the things that finals entail so i haven't had the chance to vlog a bunch but this vlog is about doing fun things to escape the stress of finals so whoops sorry camera died classic so yeah i got some more shoes in the mail this video was honestly just i should just title it massive online shopping haul because that's basically what it's gonna be does anyone else have online shopping as a horrible coping mechanism when it's like 3 a.m and you just did work all day and suddenly you're questioning the reality of life and your existence and the only way to feel better is to spend all your money I'm realizing that this is a very privileged position to be in, but trust me, I don't have that much money, so the fact that I'm spending so much of it, it's not good. Don't try this at home, kids. This is not the goal. But anyways, in today's package, we have two pairs of sneakers because, well, I think I have a valid reason for these. I usually like to have one pair of white sneakers and one pair of black boots, but my vintage white Reeboks that I had a while ago, they are just dirty past the point of repair. And because of the material that they're made out of, there's just no hope. And also they're tearing, so I can't wear those anymore. And then I found some other shoes at like a thrift shop for like 30 bucks. And they're also like vintage and more of the, in the style of like, those old New Balance looking sneakers. I'll put like a reference picture up here. Those were so cute. However, I recently had an injury flare up in my right foot. If you follow me on Instagram, you would know this already. It's actually very much ruining my quality of life at the moment, but hey, what can you do? But anyways, now that I have this injury, I can't wear the new shoes because they don't offer enough support. Like I have them and I love them, but I literally can't wear them. So I needed to invest in some new sneakers because it's getting warmer outside. I can't wear my boots anymore. Sandals don't offer that much support. And yeah, it was just time. Let's start with the Adidas. They're more of like a sporty vibe. And then the Reebok are gonna be more of like my, my fashion sneaker. Ooh, very nice. I got these both from Urban Outfitters, by the way. They always have really nice shoes for some reason. There was actually a pair like this on the website that was a little bit nicer but they were like $130 and I was like I'm getting multiple so I don't have that kind of money to be spending on one pair these came out to be 
I think 60 bucks, it doesn't say on here, but very excited to try them on. Hopefully they have, ooh yeah. These are gonna be good. They're very firm on the bottom, perfect. Okay, now on to the second pair, which offer a way less sporty look. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. What? They did not look this cute on the website. Something's different. Here's the second pair. These are so much cuter in person. Oh my gosh. Do, 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 do. I didn't get to narrate any of this in the vlog, but basically the night before I left PA to move back to New York for the summer, me and a few friends went out at a restaurant nearby. It felt so good because two of us were fully vaccinated and it felt like we could actually enjoy ourselves for the first time in a long time, safely of course. So we ordered these really delicious mocktails, which if you haven't ever tried one, highly recommend. We also ordered these like spicy, sticky buffalo cauliflower wings with some delicious roasted Brussels sprouts. And I got this massive platter of veggie sliders with vegan garlic aioli and fries on the side, of course. Everyone's food looked so delicious and we had a really, really, really good time. I was so grateful this night to have friends to spend time with, not indoors and not quarantined. It was lovely. Hi. <laughs> so today is Saturday, May 15th. I think I started this vlog like legit 10 days ago. Things have just been so crazy because of finals and everything. Yesterday I actually finished my third out of five. So I just have two left. But today I wanted to do something super fun for you guys, which is show you my newly rebuilt swim collection. I got like 10 or so new swimsuits from Aerie, which is like the branch of American Eagle. This is a meaningless splurge, yes. Technically I don't need this many swimsuits, but hold on, should I be zooming in a little bit? Yeah, technically I don't need this many swimsuits, but it was kind of one of those things where, you know, as I'm sure many other people did, I put on quite a bit of weight during quarantine, like maybe 10 to even 20 pounds probably. I don't really weigh myself at all, so I don't know the exact number, but definitely something around there. And it's been taking a long time to like kind of regain confidence and feel comfortable in my new skin. Obviously I am still staying active and eating well, but right now I'm at a place where those two things matter most in the context of my mental health and I'm not really like actively trying to lose weight really or drastically change my appearance. So I'm at a point where I want to make my current body as comfortable and as appealing to myself as I can. So getting these swimsuits for me, because I only had one that fit me, and I had this just massive collection of swimsuits that were just way too small, I was like, okay, I need to get rid of all these and fill my swimsuit drawer with like things that I actually feel confident and comfortable in. This is actually that's something that I recommend to anyone if you've gained weight recently, like don't hold on to pieces that don't fit you. I think it's a much better use of your energy to focus on loving yourself where you are in the moment than to try and chase something that might be unattainable for you. And also like all we have is the here and now. So it's important to be present and try to love and accept yourself wherever you're at. So yeah, I splurged. <laughs> I'm also going on a trip at the end of May with one of my closest friends. We're going to Florida. Woot woot, can't wait for the vlogs to come from that. But yeah, we're both fully vaccinated and honestly, this school year has just been so tough. I needed a reason to get away and can't show up to Florida without bikinis. Are you kidding me? This video is only sponsored by Dossier, but Ari, if you're out there, I'll be your ambassador. <laughs> the reason why I chose Ari is because they do have a pretty big emphasis on like showing diverse body types 
types and not retouching photos and for me this is like not something that I see often in brands. I also want to acknowledge that this is a really touchy season for a lot of girls because you know it's coming up on summer, swimsuit season, everybody feels the need to be bikini body ready which by the way Anybody can be a freaking bikini body. You do not have to look any sort of way to feel sexy in a piece of clothing. But I have my phone out because I actually went on Instagram and I, I wanted to like kind of gauge where you guys were at, what sort of things would be important for you to hear prioritized in a video like this. What kind of bikinis do you usually use? You'll see in this video. I always feel self-conscious because of how revealing bikinis are, how to love your bloat in a bikini. How do you stop having the mindset of, oh, I can only wear slash do that if I'm skinny. How do you sit without thinking about your belly rolls? How do you stay confident when eating in a bikini? How do you deal with gaining weight in your late teens or 20s? I compare myself to the old me. Okay, really quick, I'm gonna stop on this one because this is something that I used to do a lot. You have to recognize that, first of all, as we grow older, our bodies are going to be growing and adapting to become fertile. So um, you're gonna gain a little bit of body fat. That's what makes you like biologically viable. But also like in a less scientific way, you have to acknowledge that you are in a totally different position. Your life environment is probably extremely different and your body is changing and adapting in a way that it needs to. So try not to be so hard on yourself. How to stop comparing yourself to others, body hair, a lot about feeling comfortable while being exposed. First, wanna say, you shouldn't ever feel like you have to show more skin than you want to. In my general life, I always lean towards a bit more of a modest look, and there are times where I feel a little like lame for doing that, but like at the same time, if you don't wanna show everything, then don't. Accept yourself where you're at and move slowly with it. But yeah, now for the big announcement, I guess. In honor of everyone freaking out, including myself, about getting in bikinis this summer, this try-on bikini haul will be unposed. And you may be wondering, what do you mean unposed? Well, first I want to remind you that almost every image you see on social media, even in videos, people are tensing, people are flexing, people are showing the best version of themselves. And while I work hard in the gym <laughs> and I am proud of how I look when my body like is flexing and showing off my muscles and stuff like that, there are also times, like about maybe 50% of the time where like I physically can't tense because I'm too bloated because of my period. Or for example, last night I went out with some friends and we ate like so much amazing food to the point where when I woke up this morning, my tummy hurt a little and that's okay. Just gotta be patient with myself but it also means that like halfway through trying on these bikinis I was like done I was like I don't want to pose anymore and that kind of thing I'm basically doing this in hopes that seeing someone else's unposed body makes you feel a little more comfortable about yours this is a bit of a disclaimer but like I do recognize that I am in a privileged body I do fit into straight size clothing and I'm not saying that I have it like hard by any any means if anything I'm just trying to remind people that even the most perfect people you see on social media you know that girl <laughs> if I may say um, she has off days too. I don't consider myself to be in that group of people, but I want to just emphasize that there's nothing wrong with being normal. You know, I might not be at the point of body positivity, but I'm very comfortable in my body neutrality. And if anything, I see my body as just like a functioning organism that keeps me alive. And I'm very, very happy with that. It's doing its job for the most part. <laughs> so yeah, with that being said, let's get into it. For sizing reference, I am 5'8 and a half, usually around a 31 in jeans, waist size. And every single bikini that I'm wearing today is a size large. Okay, so first one I wanna show you guys is this brown beige I guess dark little number I love this one because it is so simple like it just feels like a bra almost I find that it paired really well with these bottoms so I got those as well and these are like cheeky they have this really cute little ruching feature in the back very very adorable I also got that same shaped top in black I just feel like this shape I don't know it's so flattering also it would look really inconspicuous if I ever just wanted to wear it out with like shorts or a skirt to the beach that top goes really well with these high-waisted bottoms I love these because they're textured and they have this like little crisscross you can see here which is super flattering I am never afraid to wear high-waisted things on a day where I'm not feeling like super confident you'll see some of these bikinis are more low-waisted and like I already know that like those are probably just gonna be for the pool because I don't feel like having that part of my body exposed the whole time but again we all have insecurities and i think it's so important to just like accept yourself where you're at don't try to compare yourself to others because again everybody has off days so yeah i got these bikini bottoms and they actually like officially i guess go with this top which is also ribbed slash textured i just love the overall shape of this one i feel like it's super flattering and then i got one last little black 
zucchini. It's got like a waffle texture and then it's got those little scallops on the top. Again, also super flattering shape. This is an example of the bottoms that like are a little low for me. So I don't know if I'll be super comfortable wearing them to the beach just because they might ride down, ride up, ride everywhere. <laughs> but they're definitely very, very cute. Next, I got a few other bikinis with the same waffle texture. I got this white matching set. This is a pair of high-waisted bottoms that doesn't have the crisscross, but still super flattering. I love when things ride up high on my waist. This is the top, and I actually got three of this exact same shape because I just felt like it would be very secure. I wouldn't have to wear like worry about it. It's very sporty almost, and I could run around the beach and not feel like I'm all slippity. So <laughs> that was definitely a pro. Here is the same shape in a more burnt orange color, which is probably like literally my favorite color in the world. This is probably my favorite bikini out of all the ones I got just because of how well I feel like it matches my skin tone. And then I also got it in this more like seashell pink color, I guess. I'm like not 100% sold on this color. I actually might give it to my friend because I think it looked much better on her than it's on me. So, or I might return it. I still have all the tags on in case I'm not fully happy with anything I got. Next, we have this floral bikini set. It has cute little ruffles on the edge and I wouldn't typically go for something that's patterned. I don't know why, but this one just felt like so cute, whimsical and like cottage core, I guess you could say. Again, the, the bottoms are low rise and honestly, just pretty tiny overall so this might be like a tanning swimsuit for me to just wear by the pool. I wonder what this cut is called because I feel like I think it's a square neckline. I freaking love square necklines. I feel like I always opt for them when it comes to tops and bikini tops and all that kind of stuff. And then on to a couple other more patterned textured ones I bought. This one I am absolutely in love with. It makes me feel like a little forest nymph. It's like this light green color has this white flower like detail and it's tie-dye, which apparently is on trend right now. I'm not often one for following trends, but this is a pretty fun one to hop onto. And then it came with these low-rise bottoms. So, so cute. I also got the same exact shape in white because you never have too many white bikinis. I feel like they just make you feel so tan. And again, I just feel like this shape is very trendy right now, like the bandana look, I guess. And of course, square neckline, you literally cannot go wrong. This bikini top came with a string tie bottom. This is one of my favorites, but it has that weird like open pouch here where it's like, it's not fully hugging your body. So like things are a little, ooh, make you a little nervous if you're out in public. Maybe I just need to tie the straps. We'll see. And then on to the one pieces I got. Again, because everybody has their days where they would just like a little more full coverage. And especially at the beach, I feel like one pieces are just so much easier because you don't have to worry about things slipping and going everywhere. It's like one less piece of cloth to pay attention to. This one is kind of impossible to show from holding it up here, but it's this beautiful olive green color. You'll see how it looks in the overlay of me trying it on. I'm not gonna lie, this one kind of works wonders for the top region and yeah again like I feel like it'll just look so cute with a little white sarong tied around the side and then last but not least we have this strapless one piece which again I just feel like it's so flattering because it's like full coverage but get this little little peek <laughs> at the belly this one I loved because again the website just had models of all sizes rocking it and I was like damn those girls look bomb AF I want to look as bomb as them so yeah I got it and the pattern is just a light brown with white and pink dots and this suit is actually strapless optional it came with a pair of straps that you can put in if you want for try on purposes I didn't feel like doing that but honestly once I'm out and about on the beach it would probably be very useful to have this just so things aren't slipping around so yeah that's gonna be it for the bikini haul I know it was a lot but trust me I literally just had one before all this and for me a gal who likes to be outside in the summer that simply was not acceptable so we had to correct the situation I hope the fact that I tried these on both posing but also not posing made you feel a little bit more comfortable in however your body may be looking right now I saw this written somewhere and it's a lesson that I've internalized most of the time when you are feeling insecure or awkward or nervous no one is looking at you no one is paying attention to you. Everyone is having their own mini breakdowns and panic attacks about themselves. That's just one of those things where it's hard to internalize in the moment, but once you realize it, it's so freeing because it's like, oh, well, no one gives a shit. 
what I look like. Literally only I care. And if you can get past that hurdle onto the other side, you know, and realize, okay, well, these are my younger years. I'm probably gonna look back on this as the prime of my life, so I might as well enjoy it, right? I'm speaking about myself too here. It's not like I'm above it yet at all. But we all have these insecurities, and I guarantee you when we like <laughs> hit 50, 60, we're gonna be like, why did I care so much? Like I was beautiful, you know? So I try to give myself that perspective of, hey, life is short, you gotta enjoy yourself however you look in the moment, you know? I hope that doesn't simplify things too much. I'm not trying to be reductionist of anyone's struggles, but that perspective has really, really assisted me in feeling more comfortable in my skin. If you guys liked this little posed unposed thing I did, comment it down below so that I know for future videos. And I'm also going to include a list of self-love, body positive type accounts in the description that I follow and that have helped me a lot with this kind of mindset. Once you realize that everyone is struggling with the same thing, you start to feel a lot less alone and things start to feel a lot less scary so I definitely recommend you check out some of those accounts if you can thank you again to dossier for sponsoring this video I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and I'll see you in my next one peace